Hey guys, it's Barefoot Ken. And uh, this is a quick video on the subject of flow inspired by Barefoot Ted. I saw a video he made on Twitter or X uh, where he was skateboarding or maybe on a Segway whizzing around somewhere in sunny uh, California and talking about the importance of uh, flow. Now my exercise today is a little bit different uh, from wheeling around in sunny California. It's mixed clouds, but pretty overcast about 40 degrees. I'm uh, carrying about 30 pounds. I'm out on a hike up a thousand feet, down a thousand feet. It'll be about seven miles. And um, I'm also minding my knee, uh, recovering from a meniscus injury. So there's that extra little bit of a tension and focus. And I'm not wearing a shirt. I got warm coming up and I decided to do some cold exposure, Wim Hof style. And finally, I'm in the middle of a uh, intermittent fast. So there's a lot of stressors going on right now. I wouldn't say this is uh, best ranger competition or Barclays Marathon, but it's a moderately intense exercise. So here's the deal about flow. If you go back to the works of Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, who was the psychologist who came up with the term flow, he makes a couple of interesting points. First, he says that flow takes place when the tasks are just suited to our capabilities. So not too hard because that would make us anxious and not too easy because then we get bored. But then the second thing he says, which I think is really important, is the way to really maximize your chance of getting into flow state is by learning to structure your thoughts. So in other words, developing the mental endurance, the patience, the strength of mind, so that you can deal with both the anxiety and the boredom and still accomplish your mission, accomplish your tasks keeping in control of yourself, managing yourself in, you know, potentially stressful situations. So what I'd say about flow is the real place where flow enters into your life for something like this, a hike or a run, uh, something that takes some effort, some focus, exposes you to some discomfort. The real place that flow enters into your life is when you, when you finish and then you have the feeling of relief. So you sort of get the flow all at once at the end. Or maybe you get it in the middle when the sun comes out finally and you feel a little bit warmer and the path levels out and you're going a little bit downhill instead of climbing uphill. But it's really at the finish line or when you accomplish your training objective and you get the satisfaction of a job well done or at least finished. And if you do enough of this, that positive feeling spreads throughout your life. And then because of the strength of mind and purpose and endurance and patience that you develop from these various activities, you're able to go through the rest of your life more in control, more often in the flow state, which means productive, disciplined, thoughtful, careful, and joyful execution of whatever task you're working on. When you see Barefoot Ted whizzing along the beach in California, remember he's spent a whole lifetime doing hard things and chasing adventures. You know, he was the original, at least in our generation, fellow who went out barefoot. Uh, so when you see him experiencing flow and recommending flow, remember how he got there and uh, go out and do something cool today yourself. Have a great day.